what we like to hear first thing in the morning. Nice easy project for us. Driveway extension. We dug this out yesterday. Just three rows of rebar. Wrapping the old concrete with our expansion joint. This is not the exciting project today. We'll be heading down the street for that one. Stay Okay, Jim's on straight edge. Nice tight concrete, nice and strong. Put too much water in it and it just weakens the mix. Nice full float. One, two, three passes and that's really all it should take. Get it all leveled out. Edges are all floated. Push broom on the driveway. There's a film of dirt on it from yesterday. And we leave that there so the concrete doesn't stick to it. Now we just give it a push broom. Uh, we won't power wash it. The builder will probably come in and power wash this. Good as new. All right, here comes our final buggy. Okay, dump it all, Elliot. Well. Yeah, I think you'll use it. Great way to start the day, nice easy pour. Steve's pulling a string and snapping these lines straight through. That way they stay nice and straight with each other. Looking good when you're walking down the sidewalk. Okay, the other truck is here. We're gonna head down the other project. You got this? Yep. And he'll do one cut. There's an expansion joint here, so we definitely want a full cut off of that. Uh, this one, we're going to let slide. We're not going to put one here. That would be too much going on. The housing plan. Uh, yesterday we prepped and poured this. Nice driveway extension. They added this fireplace deck on there. So we, we put a curb on here. That way nobody can drive over this wall. They're going to put a handrail on there, obviously. And around back down the steep hill, we are pouring this concrete right now. Mixers do any minute. Uh, just extending this patio over. This is a heavy stone stamp. We did not do this work, so we're just guessing on the color as best we can. Harvest wheat and Kalina tan is my guess. So we'll get this area poured. Fireplace here, fireplace upstairs. What a nice layout. Nice backyard. Waiting on concrete. Finished my coffee. Might as well get this water out of here. If we just pour this and force it out, now we got a mess running across this concrete. Hopefully it's not through the gravel, but I don't see it in the other holes. So we'll just get this out of here. 
Now, I'll save a little mess later on. Just throwing the color in the truck. I don't like putting the bags in. We get chunks of bag at the surface of our concrete when we put them in, so we don't do that anymore. Then it spin around in there. Okay, here comes our first buggy. With this steep hill, it's better to back down the hill, do a little spin right here, take it right in. Not a big pad, so we have plenty of time. Take your time. Don't make a mess. Don't get hurt. This is our 1B stamp mix. You can see how it looks so much different than the this morning's load with color in it. Jim's filling the holes. I'll give him a hand before my boots get dirty. Just picking up the rebar as we go. All right, I'll set you right here so I can get to work. There's not too much for me to do around here. I'll do some videoing. That's how Tom just takes little cuts, getting that board all the way down to existing concrete. Looking at both ends, making sure they're both down. No hump in the middle. Step back and just floated chuck where he's standing. Just right up in here. We'll get one, two more buggies in here, then I'll throw this form in. Maybe have Ray hold up, huh? Come here, come here. Hold it. Scrape him clean. Ray. Hold up. Last buggy in here, and we're going to be real close. Making sure we don't hit our sewer drains, lines, clean outs. Line up a little bit further. Good. Let me give you a scrape while you're there. Hold up, Elliot. Okay, I'll get this form in.
there it is straight edge and the last bull float now the challenging part is get on clean up here these places are all done in landscape like golf courses uh, we got to do our clean up without making too much of a mess making sure tom's good let's head up top okay so as you see we're just washing First, the mixer cleans up in our power buggies. And then we find a spot over here in the woods line. Uh, we don't dump it in one pile, we spread it out. And in a week, the weeds grow over it. We even knock it down and uh, try not to leave a mess for anybody. Uh, traction mats over the driveway. So all we gotta do is pick these up. No cleanup required. A Little bit on the street, we'll hit that with a push broom. Okay. We usually hit those right up there in the grass. Yeah. Okay. I am going to get on the road. Uh, Tommy and Matt are going to stay here. They're going to do one tool cut following that saw cut right through there. That way we don't have to come back. Uh, so as I'm here, this is what we did yesterday. Today, I make my notes over here. Uh, this is the measurements, the curb, everything I bill for, I put line items here. And when I get home, I can write that up on an invoice. It's too hard to remember all this. So that's how I do this every day, every day. Uh, as I bill, I put a check so that I'm, as I'm looking back, I know I billed for that job. There's a check mark there. Uh, back here, oh, you might see some, I don't want to show you everything. Uh, if it's something that takes a long time to bill for. I always mark it with a square and I know to come back to that. So just some little tricks that I have of keeping all of this stuff somewhat straight. As I'm walking out, I might as well show you our heavy stone stamps. These are real floppy material, nice to work with. You can bend them up the wall and get into the corners, but you can see the deep veining that's in it. So real nice checks texture i'll be back and show you that when it's all done okay, so i ran to home depot got some supplies over here uh we are well underway bees are still swarming uh all this block was rickety and and needed demoed so we just imploded all that now we'll pour concrete sides no cantilevered edge please just nice and simple back here uh, concrete wall one two three steps down onto the walkway so we're going to pour this all monolithically steps and stoop always one mixers do any minute you can see we have kickers we have tap con to the patio a lot has to go wrong for this to push let's take a look at them when we're done pouring pins Firmly pound into the ground. This is real nice soil. It's holding very nice. One low, one high. Looks busy, but again, one high and one low going both ways there. Okay, so I'm going to start digging this out. This walk's only three feet, so I only have to scrape a little bit off of here. So they're pulling all the debris back. This is all ready for us. We're going to bring power buggies right up here dump and shovel how are we looking up there ryan okay he used the old holes underneath our plastic we have plywood and then we cover it over with plastic uh, just to keep the moisture off of the plywood I don't want the concrete touching that, rotting it out sooner. Uh, there's vents, you probably can't see them. Couple vents here to help. Uh, so we're rotted into the foundation. Let's head underneath. Okay, one final inspection in here. We ran a center brace. And then from, from header all the way to the floor. Now this lumber can always stay here. This can, of course, can come out in about 28 days.
Okay, here we go, showtime. I don't know what we did before we had these uh, power buggies. You know, right up this dirt path, dumping the steps. How many back aches is that saving, huh? When we used to have to wheelbarrow the concrete up there? That's a lot. Shovel brigade coming up, yep. Okay, let's take a look at it. That's gonna be a steep drop. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I'm worried if you go straight in, you're gonna nose dive. Okay. I was gonna hug that side and roll in. I like this idea better. about this that's not too bad too good that's what I was kind of thinking but that's fine that's working look at those pins say what what don't you like um, because the concrete's gonna stop here, but it's gonna stop up here. Yeah, we're good. So, yep. okay. Making me nervous. Okay, that's my step. You guys go ahead and do your step now. That was the easy one. And two steps done. Oh, I hope that wall doesn't give away. Keep the video running. Good. Well. Good day. Pouring this about a three inch slump, maybe not even that. Nice and tight. There's all of our rebar. We'll place in as we go. This is about the best place for me. And I like don't be standing on that plywood while we're filling it up. If it gets away, we have a mess, but nobody's getting hurt. Getting tip it a little bit. Back up a little. Back up. Come on. Good. Tilt. 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 Good. Okay. Which 
wish I could show you more. Let's go check on these guys. They did the same thing. More blockage. <laughs> blockage. Good. At least it wasn't last week when it was 95 degrees. Good. Steps are all done. I'm going to make my way around back and help them. We're going to use these blocks to get a little bit higher. Okay, we're down to our final two, two and a half buggies. Now it's getting sketchy. Dump. He's got room to pull in for Good, pull him up. Pull in. Pull in. Pull in. Seven. Good. Good. Okay. Just striking that back nice and straight. Kind of hard to tell right now, it looks straight. We'll double check this here in a minute. I think we're in good shape. Coming together pretty good. This looks so nice when we do this, but it is a pain edging underneath there. How nice and finished that looks. Not just anybody can do that. One, two, three steps to pull. So these, this was the hard part over there and here. When these done, now tomorrow, easy. Couple of walks, three foot wide and four foot wide. Coming together nicely. Uh, Jim is set four feet back from our intersect point. And that just gives us a nice gentle curve right into the corner of the house. A 90 degree off of that. I just got done running this walk. A string attached to a nail ever so slightly away. Hope oh, he's taking it off. This is what we're looking for. 90 to back. This has to go over just to the edge of the post and we'll be good. Steve's pulling these off. Got my camera going. Good, you're videoing back here. Good, good, good. Yep. Oh, it's not always easy. You need any help? You good? I'm good. Okay. Steps look nice. How did we stay? Good. Good. And looks good. Nice. Okay. Back on this.
looks like all ready to go. We pulled a string through the gate, right to the step, matching on this side. I had to loosen the brackets on the gate, raise that up a little bit. We want to keep our nice incline going. Here, I'm missing all this. Little pile of stone. We'll just throw it right here, right down. Nice little curve to it. I gotta get the homeowner out here and make sure he likes this. I think he will. Yeah. I mean, we gotta hit those steps. Heck yeah, that looks good. <laughs> 